a lot of these, you know, CEOs of these companies, they're charlatans. You know, they, they're trying to trick, they're trying to make their product look in the best way possible. Well, we, we really look at the at the at the product, make sure the product works well. And um, for example, the the last one we have did was uh, Wrap Technologies, and um, and we also look for situations where the management doesn't explain the product well enough. Like it doesn't, the management only looks at 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 the positives of the of their own product. They don't explain the um, the the downsides enough of it, and so they they they, they paint it, paint an incomplete picture. And what we do is we we paint the, the whole picture. We we make it clear, you know, mostly mostly we show the negatives. And for example, this the one this last one we did, uh, Wrap Technologies, they have a product that uh, that shoots out of uh, like a, their um, cartridge. It, it shoots. It, it's like a, a wrap, like a rope that wraps around the uh, um, suspect, and uh, and it's supposed to disable them. But it doesn't doesn't always work that well. And um, they they actually hid. They didn't report to investors a uh, a pilot test that the Los Angeles Police Department did for six months. They didn't put it out in a PR or anything, and it actually wasn't very good. And so we exposed that pilot program, and the stock fell um, like between twenty and thirty percent on the day that we published our our report. They trained eleven hundred police officers. And, um, and gave the 1,100 police officers 200 of the bull wraps in the field for them to use. And over a six-month period, it was only used nine times. So, um, you know, w- with all the energy they put into it, because the pandemic happening isn't, isn't a big enough excuse why it didn't, it didn't work. They should have been, you know, making more of an effort to, to actually use it. Like a lot of these, you know, CEOs of these companies, they're charlatans. You know, they, they're trying to trick they're trying to make their product look in the best way possible that they possibly can. They're trying to make themselves look as good as they possibly can. And they don't disclose the negatives of their company or their product. And we're focusing on the product. So all they're telling people is there is the positives. So it, it helps to have, I mean, it, just the market in general, you want to know if you're going to invest in a company, you got, you have to know all the negatives and positives of, about a company's product. And, uh, and a lot of the, the companies that we follow um, and we end up shorting are ones that we don't we don't believe that the investors have an accurate picture of how, of how um, good or how bad the product actually is because you're just getting a one sided view uh, of the management and so we we make it clear okay this is why this product is faulty you know, this is this is why it's no good um, and we try to be just as accurate tell the truth we always tell the truth and we want to be as accurate as possible about um you know the product and if if there's some positives too we'll we'll make it we'll we'll say what we think the positives are but we we definitely show all the all the negatives about the company and the product would you ask me like well, the, the the aha moment um when i when i spotted the short that i'm gonna gonna talk about um you know in the, in the contrarian conference if you look at the the underlying economics in the business it's structured in such a way that benefits employees at the expense of shareholders so the employees are given a high rev- high payout of the company's revenues, and they are given stock. So as a result, the stock and the stock price become a major product for the company. You know, rather rather than um, its core business is not a, as big of a deal as as the stock. And this and the, the short idea that I'm going to uh, reveal has has gone to incredible heights recently, much much more than its competitors that don't have um have benefit employees this much. You know the, these the, these competitors keep more of the more of the, uh, the the revenues, which is better for the company. But this company that's gone up so much is is attracting so many salespeople that that's why that's the reason why the stock's going up. But it doesn't have any advantage uh, over its competition in regards of gaining new business, new customers. It can just get get new employees, new salespeople. And one thing that it has is, is a Zoom like virtual virtual reality type of product. That, that helps communication within the company that, that I think is over, overrated.
when I first heard about this company, I heard it from from actually a client who told me this looks like a good short idea. And, and I was looking at it and and then it's it gone up so much. I mean, that, that that's actually a really good spot to short is when someone else says, OK, this is a really good short idea at this price. And then it goes much higher than that price. So it was a good short idea. Now it's a great short idea because the higher a stock goes, you know, the safer it is to short it. And so the, this this particular company, um, the it, it's it's strange business model, and then this stock, which continually risen, you know, w- way higher than its competitors in the sector, you know, that that motivated me to, t- to take a closer look. I think the the whole story is going to unravel when uh, when well first the, the hype around the remote work tools uh, subsides. You know, when when there's less hype around you know virtual reality and Zoom type of tools. Then, then the stock, you know, the air might come out of this bubble, and um, if revenues don't don't grow as much as expected, you know, such as what happened recently with Fastly, they recently lowered guidance, and uh, that was that's that a high flying tech stock, and the stock crashed thirty percent. So um, something like that could happen with this one that I'm going to do, and another thing that could cause it to fall is if the sector it's in. Uh, starts to slow down because the sector right now is really hot that it's in. And if that slows down, this is like the highest flying stock in the sector. So um, once that slows down, then the stock could could crash from that. I think short selling is very difficult because if, if you're shorting a stock that's uh, that's short, that a lot of people are short, sometimes there's a high borrow rate and you have to pay a fee to hold short your short position. So often you, you can't, you're, you're unable to hold for a long period of time because you're paying a constant borrow rate, and that can be as high as 100% or more, um, you know, or often like 50%, and you know, you just keep paying that. But um, I think people need to understand that that people that don't understand short selling, they think it's evil, you know, evil, is that the you, you need to see the the positives and negatives of of investment. You, you shouldn't just see it one way, and um, and the yeah, often when people put out a report, you know, the, it makes the stock go down, but it's going to go down anyway. W- w- whether you're going to um, publish a report or not, like, like if you publish a report and it goes down, people get angry who own the position. You know, they're they're mad because they might have bought it at the top. Who knows? I mean, you might have caused some people to lose money on their long position. But the thing is, this is going to happen eventually anyway, and it's best to get it out soon because the the management is going to keep selling shares and enriching themselves. And they're going to take even more money from shareholders. So it's better just um, get it out really quickly so management can't enrich themselves as much on on, on a faulty company or a faulty product. To become a better um, short seller, um, you you got got to look at history. I think it's good to look at how other people made mistakes, other short sellers. I mean, there's so many short sellers out there right now. There's so many, um, you know, groups that are out there, so many um, research research uh, groups out there that you can look at and see w- where are they going wrong? Like, and you can read the report. Like sometimes they, they put out a report that works and, you know, that ends up being right. And sometimes they put one out that doesn't work. So you need, you need to look at why didn't this work not only for my own reports, but um, other people as well. And, th- and that's what I, um, you know, th- that's what I pay attention to, to try to try to improve myself.